Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back here on YouTube and I decided to make this video to explain to you guys why I was away for so long and kind of update you on what's going on and what kept me away from YouTube. So basically, two main things happened. Um, I came out as transgender, as some of you may know, when I made videos last year, I called myself drag queen because I wasn't really ready to share this thing with everyone, especially since I hadn't talked to my family yet and I felt like they deserved to know before everyone else. So before people on YouTube basically and I didn't want them to find out watching my videos. So yeah. I came out as far as gender and obviously I started transitioning and, <clears throat> excuse me, and you know, it's a really long process, it's really uh, not hard, but it takes a lot of energy and a lot of, you know, self-discovery, let's say. So um, I was focused on that and I was really focusing on starting my transition as soon as possible because I came out last year, but it's something I have been thinking about for a while. So I couldn't wait to start transitioning. So I was really focused. I was putting a lot of energy into that. And at the same time, I started university. I'm now studying sound design. And I started university as a woman. So that was kind of a challenge because initially, I didn't really want to tell everyone about me being transgender. So it was kind of a challenge, but then I told everyone and everyone was kind of okay with it, except for some people, but you know. Um, get all of your haters. <laughs> and yeah, so I started uni, I'm now studying sound design and it's time consuming, time taking. I have compulsory attendance, so I have to go to every single lesson and or nearly every single lesson and we have a lot of coursework and projects and we have to learn how to use softwares and I was a beginner, like not even an amateur. So I really had to focus and work on that because I wanted good grades. And so that took a lot of time as well. And I never really had the chance to make videos and I didn't really find the right time to make videos again. So basically these are the main two reasons why I didn't start. I decided I would start when I started my transition, when I started taking hormones, but then I was so focused into hormones. I was so focusing on my, you know, my progress and that happened towards the end of the year. So I also had quite a lot of studying to do and yeah, didn't really have the time. But now here I am. I'm sorry talking in my mouth. I just had lunch. And um, onions. I love onions. And anyway, so these were the two main reasons. And now here I am. I want to keep you guys updated. I want to take YouTube more seriously because I love YouTube as a platform and as a source of information. Because when I was looking into HRT into transitioning, YouTube was the main source of information that I had and was the only way that I could actually talk to someone who, who had, had been through or was going through the process of transitioning. And I think it's really helpful when you hear from others that are doing the same thing because you kind of know what to expect you know what to expect from hormones you know what to expect from you know social transitioning and they give you advice and there's also videos about surgeries that you can undergo and you know some people that have had SRS which is a sex reassignment surgery I find these videos really helpful, so 
I decided that I would come back on YouTube, take this seriously and help other fellow transgender people, especially younger people who don't have the means to, or are kind of ashamed or embarrassed to go out there and talk to people. I thought I would give them a bit of advice and information so they know what transitioning is like and they can gather some information from me. Obviously, if you want to transition, YouTube is not enough. You're going to have to do your own research, go to a gender therapist or another therapist. It depends on how it works in your country. You're going to have to do some exams and there's going to be a lot of things that you have to do. But basically, I wanted to talk to people about what transitioning is like and help other fellow transgender people and also help non-transgender people, cisgender people to understand what it's like because some people do not know that much about this and are interested. I have plenty of cisgender friends who ask me information because it's an interesting topic for a lot of people and this is kind of the right moment. Transgender people are starting to get more visibility and I think it's the right moment to spread some information instead of hate so that people learn that transgender people are just like every other person. They simply take some pills and change their body to feel more comfortable with themselves. So that being said, I will be back and I'm going to upload more videos this week. I'm starting to pre-record so I can give you more content guys and I'm gonna upload a third video this week. I still don't know what it's gonna be about. It can be a Q&A. If you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and if I have enough questions I will make a video or I will reply to you personally down in the comments or you know whatever. If you have any requests, if you want to know something particular, how HRT works or whatever, you can just leave a request in the comment but I will make a third video for you this week I promise so I'm back please forgive me for being away for so long I hope you understand and I'll see you guys soon